We took up samurai. We have a city to burn. In this video, we are going to go deep into the quarantine zone with a grounded perspective. But first, let's highlight one of the major differences that adds to the difficulty of the grounded speedrun. You do not recover health or reload your weapons when restarting checkpoints, playing on the hardest difficulty versus the easiest difficulty. That means, unless you specifically pick up health or use medkits, the damage accumulated can turn into a run-ending situation pretty fast. After each encounter where you use ammo, make sure all of your weapons are reloaded. The first encounter in the quarantine zone is, in theory, pretty simple. Three will aim the headshots and then run forest run. Second encounter plays out the same as on the very light difficulty by simply restarting the checkpoint at the start of the encounter, placing two well-aimed headshots, restarting the checkpoint again as soon there is no encounter option in the menu to teleport ahead. Third encounter is the first official encounter where the game starts giving you troubles. There are four human enemies, one will be taken care of by Tess, and the last enemy you defeat drops the key of the door you need to enter in order to progress. While the start of the battle is the same as on the easiest difficulty, starting with a restart checkpoint, how you deal with the last enemy is important. You take two headshots and the last enemy that is rushing you needs some. Good old Mike Tyson level of punch out. We loot the two bullets from the corpses, reload our weapon and proceed through the door. Next ahead we have the second part of the warehouses which contains five enemies. You need to defeat before the game allows you to progress. Pick up the bottle, always shoot for the <laughs> always shoot for the bald guy in the back, then the guy with the cap and based on the last enemy's movement pattern, you either throw the bottle to get closer or just punch him out. Last part is pretty simple, just two headshots again, pick up a bottle and a med kit and proceed to lift the door. Next we have the docks. There are seven human enemies here. Obviously it would be too risky and time consuming to defeat all of them, so we are going to run past all of this by taking this route here and punch out the last enemy to have it easy and safe access to the door. All of these encounters should be done without taking damage as every bit of damage you have accumulated will make the next part harder. By the way, after this section you might want to grab this plank on the floor here. Now we have the overpass. This is where you need to take a little bit of damage because of the reasons outlined in the first video in this series, you can find that in the video description. But you will probably take damage here regardless of how good you are, as there are plenty of enemies aiming for Joel from every possible angle. Start by running halfway to the second set of floors, then chalk towards the boxes, climb over as you land and take a couple of steps, you will hear the enemy detecting you. Throw the bottle you picked up in the warehouses at the enemy in front of you and sprint past him to cover and crouch walk behind these boxes here while picking up a replacement bottle. Goal after this is to move ahead and get to the door below the bridge without dying. There's a lot of situational things related to RNG. I might do a full breakdown at some point if I ever happen to get good at grounded, so tap that subscribe button.